Hello, and welcome to Malachi Gaming. Yes, I used Windows Movie Maker to splice this together and speed it up. However, this is take number I don't know. I've been having a lot of technical difficulties, and it's also been so long between when I started playing this cap, this for the capture, and the last video that I forgot how to play it. <laughs> and you can see it, like, me going through the cycle of like, okay, what am I doing? But, and that is because I am still in college, and I was doing my midterms all the time. And, and so I had a midterm to do, an essay to do, and another midterm to study for, and then, then do. And... That was not fun, especially since one of those midterms had essays you had to cite for. But on here, I am playing Doom Eternal. This is the second episode in my series, and as you've seen, I've died at least twice by now. And uh, yeah, I really wish Xbox allowed you to record your voice when you did captures because. My wonderful fiance got me a headset with a microphone, and we were both like, oh, that's a lame. But not the first time this week that Microsoft has disappointed me. It really hasn't. But I do love Doom, and that overpowers all this. Popping those zombies like pinatas, collecting the loot, it's so fun. And this this AI right here, or she she ain't right. She is is like oh oh humanity needs to be converted to hell spawns. It's great for our progress, and I'm like that is peak 2021. But uh, but nah, nah, it don't look like it. It's progressing anything. But, whenever you play this game, don't stop right where I stopped last time. Because this is a pain, especially if you're going to be away from the console long enough that you don't remember the controls to the game. Uh, worst spot to... <laughs> worst spot to stop, because there's a shit ton of zombies and demons right there. There's this arachnid demon that is the bane of my existence. That thing is so annoying with all its, its scorpion cannons. It's scuttling up. And at one point, it scuttled up behind me while I was trying to deal with the brute. And I was just like, Ugh. Heck. Heck. Uh, well, on the inside, I was like that, but on the outside, it scared the crap out of me. And so I was just like, ah! And then, and, uh, this is why I really wish Captures captured, like, my voice. You would be hearing me flip shit all the time, and I did record my audio from my phone while I was playing Fallout New Vegas, which, that will be the next thing I will be posting. Fallout New Vegas. But, this is Doom, so let's not get distracted. And as you can see, I was still trying to figure out what I was supposed to press right here. And I continue through the hospital, trying to make my way downtown, walking fast, because it's cold out. And this subway train right here is a godsend. Like, if you are hit heavy, there's a health pack right there. You just grab, and I died again. But... Don't get too cocky. Stay there. That train is your friend when you're dealing with that arachnid demon. Make sure you got plenty of shotgun ammo. Make sure you got it set to the explosive rounds. And do not waste that shoulder mounted grenade launcher that you pick up right there. Because that's arachnid demon is what it's for. Hit it. And if you're lucky, you'll get the stinger. And blow it up. But definitely 
hit it with the explosive shotgun rounds or you're not going to have a fun time. You can use the automatic shotgun rounds or explosive on the cacodemon that comes after it. Explosive is still the best because this game is lit is true to the song. Rip and tear till it's done. Rip through the enemies like this. Blow them up. Do what you can. And try not to die like I, I have been doing. I died at least like 10 times in this recording. Probably even more. But that Arachnodemon, I do not like going against them. They're everywhere in this game. And they are annoying. They grief you. And ironically enough, that's the first toy I got in the game. I got the collectible toy of the Arachnodemon later on in this video. You'll see it. <clears throat> and the little toy is cute. You get it, it in this little Shangri-La looking temple. You go to the side, you smash the wall, and it's right there. You're like, oh, it's so cute. Unlike that ugly thing that I just poked in the eye. Hey, but it, it's cute when it's not shooting at you. Making your day a hassle. But after this, you get the upgrade. You go over here. And I was a little confused at first. I was like, how am I supposed to get over here? Jumped off, jumped off again. And I'm like, that's not working. Then my little monkey brain's just like, hmm, what do I do? Oh, I guess I'm supposed to... Ah, I missed. Jump off the floating debris. If that demon shoots you, go get that health pack. Make sure you time it right and... You'll walk. You might, might need to take a breather. But... Right here, I was like, is there an alternate path? No, there's no alternate path. And I remembered, double jump is a thing. But, what you're supposed to do is time it, double jump off of it. Hit, jump, right as you're about to lose the edge. When you get right up to the edge, as you're flying through the air, you jump over there. But, try not to miss, because, as you saw right there, if you're low on health, that cacodemon... Is going to make you have a hard time. And what I hate about that is that right after you beat this cacodemon, you think you're going to just have the minor demons. No. After you defeat the cacodemon, in spawns another of my worst enemy, the arachnodemon. The arachnotron demon. Cacodemon, I can deal with them. When I'm not falling off the ledge. Or getting close enough for them to bite me. Because if they bite you, you're dead. Too bad. But they are especially weak to explosives. If they swallow one of your explosives, they'll be stunned. And you can punch their eye out. And boom, you're good. Now, over in this area, you got to pay attention to the drops on the ground. you got to get them. Keep moving. Don't stop because there's a lot of places where you can get stuck, you get ambushed, and like I said before, you ain't gonna have a good time. Well, I had a good time, but I still died a lot. But right past this level is the final stretch of it. Yeah, this is the end of the level is what I mean to say. And you go past this, go through that doorway, run, run, get away from the arachnodemon, don't let it get you, because then you'll probably have to start this over. Like, I'm not, then run, I'm not to talk to this weirdo right here, shoot the cacodemon, knock it off, don't knock yourself off like I did, and make sure you grab onto that wall and then you gotta time that double jump right or you'll fall into the pit of lava and right there am I alright? again I looked for an alternate route there are no alternate routes and go 
One, two, three. Uh, I failed. One, two, three. Yes. And go. I made it that time. There's a couple zombies in your way right there. Through the metro station. There, pick up that little collectible. Read it if you care to. There, these little manuscripts are neat. I like them. I like picking up the little interesting tidbits that tell you a little bit about the lore. You go this way. There's a hentai tentacle monster rat. It's a stick it. It's stick up your ass. Don't let it do that. It'll, it'll not be fun. But it may look wet, but it's dry. Trust me. But <laughs> and right here in the hospital is where you learn. Pick up them drops. Pay attention to what's in front of you. What's to your side. Look out for the cacodemon. Well, there's actually two of them in that area. Think a third one that spawns in later. But there's also an arachna demon you have to deal with. There's a bunch of low-level grunts, and there's the brutes. I call them brutes. I don't know what exactly are they called. Doesn't matter. And there's these these little imp-looking things that like to throw fireballs at you. They're a pain in the butt. And it's okay if it, it doesn't work your first try. Just keep trying. If you get a little frustrated, and put the controller down, take a breath, go get you a Dr. Pepper or Coke, whichever you prefer. And maybe you, maybe it's gonna be late whenever you're playing this. Just set the game down, have a nice snap. And then wake up, play it again. It took me a couple of tries to play this, but I actually have so much fun with this that even when I'm getting my ass handed to me, this game is so fun to play. It, it's a game where it's fun to get your ass kicked. Like Mortal Shell can be either that way. I thought it was going to be like Dark Souls where you're just like, Oh, come on! But nope, you go down this final stretch right here, over here, you see all the uh, demonic temple stuff. I didn't pay attention to that icon at all, but you get another manuscript, go over here to the elevator, and you'll put your finger in, in those holes, giddy, but there's some hell priests waiting for you, and they talk... A lot of crap to you. You throw their brother's head at them, and they're like, it, "This doesn't change anything." Con maker's gonna kick your ass. You just cock your shotgun. They leave without another word. She shows up there, and your little doctor's like, "Uh, don't, don't fight him. She's invincible right there." And you're just like, "Whatever." I'm walking away. And you go back up to your ship. You do what you need to do to level up. Get your perks. And you'll see right here. As he's talking to you. You go over here. And. There's that little arachna demon toy. Be careful. Oh, make sure you bring out your. Uh, light weapon, your automatic thing, and it's very useful to have the upgrade that basically turns it into a sniper rifle. Because when you're up there, you want to uh, headshot all those minor demons because there is a thing that looks like a berserker from Gears of War, or uh, you who definitely don't want to be trying to fight that thing when there's like five other demons down there. You kick its butt and then you go on to the next part. Now I haven't got past the next part yet but make sure you play your cards right here because <clears throat> that fall damage oh wait can you get fall damage? I don't think so. But there's that berserker thing Play your cards right. 
and it won't give you any trouble. These things right here will give you trouble. Because you got the flying things spitting poison at you, you got the caca demons spitting plasma balls at you. Now here you want to pick off as many demons as you can. Don't just rush in there. Or you, you can uh, not have a good time because you'll be overwhelmed and you can't get back out of there. But this brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully I will have more to show you. And like and subscribe. Support your boy on Patreon. Share this out to your social media platforms. And rip and tear till it's done.